In the history of the NBA, there have been countless tales of players' careers being derailed by injuries. One franchise in particular seems kind of cursed in this regard as the Portland Trailblazers have a long history of top draft picks coming down with career-altering injuries. The most famous of these is undoubtedly Bill Walton and Sam Bowie. However, I want to focus on a more recent duo whose injuries cost the Blazers a chance at a potential dynasty. In 2006, the Blazers had two top six picks and used them to draft LaMarcus Aldridge out of Texas and Washington's Brandon Roy. This inside-out duo was set to be the foundation of the team for at least the next half decade if everything went well. In 2007, they played well enough to only have the seventh worst record in the league. Nothing to write home about, but not terrible either. By some stroke of luck, or maybe a weighted ping pong ball if you want to get conspiratorial about it, the Blazers won the draft lot that year and had the chance between Ohio State's Greg Oden or another Longhorn and Kevin Durant. In spite of the franchise's abysmal history of taking big men this early in the draft, they went with Oden, figuring that Durant and Aldridge wouldn't mesh well given their abilities to play on the perimeter. Plus, Oden's prodigious grown man size was quickly becoming something of a rarity in the NBA, making him a very attractive prospect. This would turn out to be a costly mistake. Odin was almost immediately shut down for his first season as the team decided to have him get surgery on his ailing right knee. The team was able to prove by nine wins on his last campaign, but still missed the playoffs. It wasn't all bad, though, as Roy made his first all-star team and Aldridge's game made its first big leap into the two-way player we know him as today. That offseason, the team made a solid move to bring in Nicholas Batum. While the Frenchman isn't on KD's level, he gave them that wing presence they needed. With a healthy Odin, this team looked loaded across the board, and they showed it, going 54-28 and before losing the first round of the Houston Rockets. However, those positives were drowned out by the fact that the former number one pick only played 61 games, starting just 39. Odin wasn't the only one though, as Roy had preseason surgery on his left knee, though he was able to play the full season, making another all-star appearance of picking up a spot on the All-NBA second team. The next season was more of the same, with Odin only playing in 21 games. Roy, meanwhile, played through a right knee injury and route to a first-round exit and more personal awards that would just make what comes next sting even more. Odin's 09-10 campaign would end with another surgery on his knees. That would be the final time he would ever sue up for the Blazers. Roy, on the other hand, played one last injury-riddled season before retiring from the game. Both players would eventually try to come back, but were shells of the potential they flashed and were quickly out of the league. Today, we're going to make it to where those pesky injuries can't hurt the Blazers anymore and see if the dynasty that never was can win Portland Championship or three. Let's take a look at what would happen if Brandon Roy and Greg Oden never got injured. We are here at the start of the 2007-2008 season. And as you can see, the... Uh, where am I going? Trailblazers. Wait, Trailblazers have young Brandon Roy and Greg Oden. Also, Marcus Aldridge. Very young team where they got Ray LaFrance, Darius Miles, uh, Joel uh, Prisbilla. I don't remember how to say that one. Steve Blake. Like, they got some old heads, but a lot of this team is pretty young. So that's good for them. What we're going to do, we're going to make one very important change. It might have already been done for us, but we're going to go into general stat, and we're going to go over here to injuries, and it's already off. That's great. In fact, I'm just going to turn it off myself just to make sure, okay? So uh, injuries are off. Greg Oden cannot start this season with microfracture surgery, and Brandon Roy's knees cannot deteriorate. So I'm going to send to the end of the season, and we will see. What happened? Okay, we have gotten to the end of our first season. Fingers crossed that neither Brandon Roy or Greg Oden. Is that how you say it? Is it like, is it? So there's that, sorry. There's that uh, Colorado Avalanche player. It's like Wa, Brandon Wa, Roy. Uh, Ro I'm just going to say Roy. And if I'm wrong, you can roast me in the comments. Okay, so LeBron almost having an MVP, or he did have an MVP year, but almost having a triple double year. KD, Rookie of the Year, makes sense with a great season. Uh, Al Jefferson, Sixth Man of the Year for the Timberwolves, which is, I don't remember him ever playing for the Timberwolves. Maybe they got that trade messed up. I don't know. Kobe Bryant, Defensive Player of the Year. <laughs> if you're a Defensive Player of the Year and you're putting up 32 points a game, the rest of the league better watch out. Danny Granger, Most Improved. Uh, Doug Collins and David Powell. Let's see if our guys did anything big this year. No, no, no. But this is where we want to see. Ooh. Oh, that's defensive. I thought that was going to be a rookie. Okay. Uh, rookie. Here we go. Okay. Uh, not a great sign when Raymond Hicks and Diedrich Adams are picking up rookie of the years over. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. This is not a very good sign, I don't think, for our man. Uh <laughs> 
Greg Oden. He's not even on the second team. Ooh, that means there's three centers that had a better season than he did. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's just see. Did they even make the playoffs? Okay. They did not make the playoffs. Not a great sign. Let's look at how they did in the stats. Okay. Player stats. One of Trailblazers. Uh, okay. I mean, 26, 5, and 6. That's a pretty solid season. Uh, Greg Oden played the whole year. Oh my gosh, is he terrible? Why is he so bad? Sorry. Can I see his, like, potential? His potential is pretty high. I mean, A minus, that's not bad. It seems like he should be good, but he's not. Okay, may hey, look, maybe, <laughs> maybe all the Greg Oden, Oden hype was uh, not warranted. I mean, he did play, they played the whole season, so that's good. Uh, maybe he just needs some players around him. I don't know. I mean, you got LaMarcus Aldridge and Brandon Roy and Jared Jack. And I mean, he's the lowest scoring uh, starter on their team at seven points a game, getting outscored by Marcus Hayslip. Granted, he's only played in 34 games, so he didn't play the whole season. Um and also out-rebounded by Travis Outlaw. But to be fair to him, again, LaMarcus Aldridge was out-rebounded by Travis Outlaw as well. So maybe Travis Outlaw is just a really good rebounder. Okay, well, that's disappointing. I guess we'll sim through the playoffs and just, like, see who wins. Like, could the Clippers... Oh, Washington gets knocked out. This is a weird... The Hornets? Huh? Oh, Chris Paul. Okay. Who are on these two teams? Wait. Uh, this. Who are on these two teams? So... Paul Pierce, KG, Ray. Oh, this is okay. This is make that makes sense that they're there. Oh, Michael Olo, Candy. Hello, sir. Rajon Rondo. Not doing too hot. Okay, who's the Hornets have? Peja, Tyson Chandler, Mo Pete, Doug West. Okay, the Birdman, Desmond Mason. Yeah, okay, I can see this. Uh, I mean, it's a little surprising, but I can see it. Okay, well, that was a little uh, unfortunate. I guess I should have seen real quick. I should see the standings, right? Like, were they even close? Okay, they were the they were the ninth seed, so they almost made the playoffs. So maybe we can get some upgrades. I mean, I don't know how long we're gonna be able to do this because I'm not controlling the Trailblazers, uh, but we'll give it a few years and see if they can make any progress. I will see you all at the start of the next year and see how they do. All right, real quick before we skip forward, let's see who they drafted this year. See if they have any firepower coming through. So, uh. Is this Jerry Lane? Added Fred Jones. I don't think I had him last year. Okay, DJ Augustine. That's a good add for this team. Rudy Fernandez. Okay. They got five guys in the 80s. This should be a good season for them. I mean, they might not win it all. But they should be... So I mean, they really need a point guard. That's like their issue right now is they could really use somebody... <clears throat> like if they could trade Troy Murphy for a solid point guard. I mean, if Greg Oden keeps progressing, he should, I mean, they're both like st studs potentially. So we got Derry Smiles over here <laughs> just hanging out. Okay, uh, I'm gonna send him to the end of the season. Hopefully they make the playoffs this year. Uh, and this does not just become a co complete and total bust like it did in real life. Cause that would be kind of sad, right? Like we want them to be better than they were in real life. We They did beat the Thunder who I'm playing as now, so that's good. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. All right, here we are at the end of the season. KG, MVP, Russell Westbrook. Did get drafted by the Thunder, like he did in real life, and averaged almost 20 and 10 as a rookie. So, makes sense he's rookie of the year. Uh, Manu, sixth man, that makes sense. KG, defensive player of the year. Al Horford, most improved. And then George Carl and Jacob Park. Now, this would have been... Um, Brandon Roy's best season statistically as a pro. So hopefully he does well. We'll see. Okay, did not make the first team NBA. Gilbert Arenas, that's a name I haven't heard in a while. Uh, what a guy. Uh, I really liked his blog back in the day and bought his shoes. So he's one of my favorites, I guess. Uh, okay, no second teamers. No third teamers, though. KD is already up there. So already being surpassed by KD. That's sad. Um, all right. All defensive team, 
Nobody, although Rashid Wallace is now on the, <laughs> the Golden State Warriors. Uh, so that's interesting. Um, okay. Uh, nobody here still. The rookie team. Oh my gosh. The Thunder drafted Michael Beasley and Westbrook. That is wild. D Rose went to the Timberwolves and the Bobcats got K Love and Serge went to the Bucks. Oh my gosh. This is, this is <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what? What a thing to happen. Okay, let us see. Did they make the playoffs? The Portland Trailblazers are the eighth seed. The Memphis Grizzlies are the one seed. Like, I know they were good around this time, but that seems kind of high. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. Okay, let's check it out. How did they do this season stats-wise? Um, not the Thunder, although Wally Zerviak and Michael. This is a odd team. Okay. Uh, trailblazers now i guess the issue here is that like no one is, no one's getting hurt not just like our players are not getting hurt also no one else's players are getting hurt so but okay i did look this up brandon roy's best season 0809 he averaged 22 5 and 5 and here 25 5 and 6 so a better season but again nobody's getting injured so they can play forever look at this 7 and 7 once again Greg Oden kind of sucks. Uh, their contracts are like so small too. Uh, I wonder why that's happening. That's an odd thing. Um, <laughs> that's really weird. Uh, okay, so let's see. Can they beat the Memphis Grizzlies? Make it out of the first round? No. They got not swept, but they did not get past the Grizzlies. So we'll send the rest of the playoffs. Again, like... One of the issues here is like, yes, you're not getting injured, but also the best players in the league, none of them are getting injured. So like, you know, just because Brandon Roy is going to be around and Greg Oden is going to be around, it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to ever progress to being like these studs. Um, so who knows? But we're going to do a couple more seasons because Brandon Roy left the the Trailblazers in 0 -10, 0 10, in 2010, 2011. So we'll probably go through that season. We're right now we're in 0809, so we're gonna we'll get like two more seasons uh, before we quit uh, to try and see if we can turn this thing around. But for now, it does not look good for your boys. Good news for KG and the rest of the Celtics. They all picked up a championship. Uh, I don't remember if this is the year they won the championship, but wildly enough, they did play the Grizzlies in this final. Can I see who the Grizzlies have? So Kyle Lowry. Okay, Mike Conley, Rudy Gay, Pau Gasol, Mike Miller, Stromile Swift, Darko, my boy Darko on here. All right, so a solid team for them, I'm, but I am kind of surprised that they made the finals with that. Also, Rondo leading the team in scoring? When has that ever happened? Uh, like, who? Um, I can't really, What? why is this not letting me move? Oh, there we go. Like, who do they play here? Elton Brand, is that Tim Thomas? There we go, my boy. Uh, okay, yeah, I, get, I mean, none of these teams are that good. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, here, yeah. Uh, wait, where is, okay, Tim Duncan, yeah, okay. So maybe it's just like a weird, I mean, this is a weird, it's a, it's, it's a weird finals, okay? Uh, but, you know, I guess the, the winner makes sense. It's the rest of it that's weird. Like, where's LeBron? I guess, is he on Miami now? Uh, no. What? I'm sorry, sorry. Where is LeBron? <laughs> is he... Did he die? You can't get injured. Where's LeBron? I mean, he had a freaking disgusting season. But apparently the Cavs suck. I mean, I guess the Cavs did suck at this point, right? It's just weird that, like... Even though the Cavs suck, you would think they would make the playoffs. Instead... They are a 12 seed, which is, I mean, that hasn't happened, I mean, I guess since last year with the Lakers, but I feel like LeBron is always in the playoffs. Okay, let's go to the next season. This time I'm just going to skip straight to the end. You're not even going to see the start of the season. I mean, I guess we'll see what the team looks like. Never mind. We'll see what the team looks like, and then we'll skip to the end of the season. Can Brandon Roy and Greg Oden improve on this year? They haven't really done much so far. But hopefully we'll get something new this year. Okay, looking at the roster. So LaMarcus Aldridge has actually passed 
both uh, Roy and Odin as the best players on the team, as the best player on the team. Odin um, is now up to an 85. Roy has not actually progressed at all, I don't think, since last year. So that's kind of concerning. They did add Ron Artest. Uh, so that should be, an, that's an interesting wrinkle to the team. I mean, they still, as, as, as ever, they are lacking a point guard, but they do have Brandon Jennings. So they have a couple young point guards and Nate Robinson. So maybe one of them could turn out. I don't know, Dwayne Soto, maybe. I don't know, it's kind of a weird team. Uh, they have a couple guys on two-way contracts. But, I mean, they have a lot of pieces. So I guess we'll just have to see. I will see you at the end of the season, hopefully, with some good news for you Trailblazer fans out there. Oh boy, Dwight Howard is your MVP. <laughs> I mean, look at that season. 26, almost, I mean, 27, almost 28 and 14. Two and a half blocks. Now, I will say, before we move further, this was the best season, statistically, of Greg Oden's career. He only played 21 games. So he's going to do better than that, at least. Uh, hopefully he can do better than his 10 points and 8.5 rebounds. Uh, Blake Griffin wins Rookie of the Year for the T-Wolves. Chuck Kersey, Sixth Man of the Year. Dwight, of course, Defensive Player of the Year. Boris Diaw, Most Improved. Doc and Stan Myers. All right, can one of our players make it to any of the, either of the All-NBA teams? Keep in mind, I'm pretty sure Brandon Roy made two of these in real life, so... If he's not going to make any of them, that's kind of sad. Someone named Juan Dixon. Is that a real player? <laughs> that happens a lot when you're doing these Sims. Is like, I don't remember him. Is he real? He's 20 years old. Probably not. Uh, okay. Oh, man. Can't get anybody up there. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Defensive players. Nobody. Nobody. Rookies shouldn't have any of those. Ooh, James Harden goes. To, ooh, Steph Curry on the Hawks and James Harden on the Warriors. What if Curry had gone to the Thunder? That would have been wild. DeRozan goes to the Mavs. Ooh, Lou Sanders, everyone's favorite seven-one center. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, so that's it. All right. Well, how did they do? They didn't even make the playoffs. Okay, so this experiment is not going well. <laughs> It just seems like, okay, I, I really hate to say this to you, Portland Trailblazers fans, but it seems like even if your players were healthy, they kind of sucked. Uh, I mean, I, I say that. Look at Brandon Royce, 27 and 6. LaMarcus Aldridge, 29 and 6. Greg Oden, I mean, he's up to eight rebounds, right? I mean, he still can't shoot. He's shooting twice. He shoots 27% from the field. Like, how is that even possible for a big man? How it, wh what is he, he's taking, why is Greg Oden taking four threes a game? What? What is happening? <laughs> what? Why is he, does he have tendencies that make him do that? Can you see his tendencies here? Okay, let's see. Uh, where would his shot, uh, the sh three point tendency, he is, why is his, sh why is his, sh why, wh wait, why is he shooting so many threes? Can I alter that? <laughs> I might have to check and see if I could change that because there's no reason Greg Oden should be shooting almost four threes a game. He can't shoot threes. Brandon Roy, can he shoot threes? Yeah, he can shoot threes. So he should be taking threes, right? He's taking like six a game, which seems pretty high for this era, but you know, he's only getting, he's only getting, I mean, is there something weird happening here? Like, why is he only taking four free throws a game? And why is he taking almost seven threes? Can I just see what team, uh, Hawks? Was that the team Curry's on? How many threes per game is Curry taking? Hawks, Hawks. Jeez. Okay, he's taking almost as many threes as Steph, which seems wild. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm going to go through and see if I could change <laughs> that stat before we start the next season. All right, let's just send through these playoffs because the Trailblazers are, of course, not in it. Uh, ooh, the Celtics win back-to-back -back championships. Okay, blah, 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 blah. KG is really, really good at basketball. Okay, I will see you at the start of the next season. Hopefully... 
we'll have Greg Oden with lower three point tendencies. Uh, but yeah, we'll get there. Okay, I have fixed <laughs> Greg Oden, ladies. You don't have to worry about it. I did it for you. Uh, Greg Oden has been fixed. He does not shoot threes anymore. Hopefully, that means like he is okay. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we're gonna send to the. Uh, I guess we should look at that team. Uh, okay, roster. So Marcus Aldridge is now the best player. Uh, they went and added Kyle Korver to the roster, which could be interesting. Is still, oh, Brandon Jennings actually is like improving, so that's good. Um, but still, don't have like a <clears throat> a top tier point guard. They went and got Eric Bledsoe as well, so they have like three. Uh, oh, uh oh, watch out, everybody! Adam Morrison and his crusty mustache is on the team. Okay, um, yeah. So we don't have a lot of improvement here. Uh, there's not a lot of like, I mean, I don't know if that's just something in how it's coded where like let's look at the thunder i mean kg is or kd has gone up really high so i feel like things are working look at this thunder team larry sanders demarcus cousins michael beasley russell westbrook and durant that's disgusting i mean they don't have a shooting guard to save their life but geez what a team okay yeah so i'm not sure if something's weird with potential or something. I mean, when you do these sims, like you never know, things get out of, out of whack all the time. Um, for instance, like look at the, the, the Trailblazers' profit, minus seventy nine million dollars. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna sim through this, and I will see you at the end of the season. This again, I, I think I said this before, but I'm gonna reiterate. This is this is the last season that Brandon Roy played for Portland. So this will be the last season I sim. Um, at this point in real life, Greg Oden was actually out of basketball. Uh, his last season was 09-2010. Uh, well, his last season was with Portland. He came back, as I'm sure you know at this point, he came back for like 25 games with Miami in 2013-2014 maybe. Um, and Brandon Roy went on to play for Minnesota later. Uh, but as far as this goes with the Trailblazers, unless they win the championship, if they win a championship, I'll give them another run. But at this point... We're going to end it after this season, so I'll see you at the end of the season. Hopefully, they can turn it around. You know, they've only made playoffs once, so if you're a Trailblazers fan thinking, oh my gosh, if Brandon Roy and Greg Oden just not got injured, we would have had a chance. Well, so far, I got bad news for you. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you at the end of the season. Surprise, surprise, he's back again. LeBron James is your NBA champion, or sorry, excuse me, NBA most valuable player. Uh, over on the Rookie of the Year, it goes to John Wall, who's on the Nets. Chuck Kersey gets his second sixth man of the year. Good for him. Dwight Howard, second defensive MVP. James Harden of the Warriors, most improved, averaging 28.5 points per game out there and 45% three-point shooting. Uh, and then we got this. All right, let us see. Did they make the playoffs? Oh, whoops, I forgot. We got to do all this crap first. Okay, no first team. No second team. Not even a third team. <laughs> Defensive team, no, no. This is this has been one of this so far. This has been my most disappointing uh, rebuild. Demarcus Cousins, Boogie playing for the Thunder, grabbing a uh, all rookie first team. Also, Maurice Finley, that's a made up person, I think. Sorry, Maurice, if you're out there, <laughs> I think you're made up, but you might not be. Okay, did they make the playoffs? No. Okay, this has been a complete and utter failure. <laughs> I don't know. I apologize to you, Trailblazer fans. Look, I fixed Greg Oden, but he still sucks. Okay, it does not matter if he doesn't get injured when he's still terrible. He didn't even he did not take any threes. He took point zero point three threes per game. Okay, so you can't blame me for him being bad. It's not my fault anymore. Uh, your boy is just not any good. So this team, I will say. Brandon Roy has been doing very well. He's 26 years old on a five-year contract, doing very good for himself. LaMarcus Aldridge should be doing just as good, but neither of them are really progressing very quickly. Uh, you know, like at 25 and 26, you would think they'd be a little bit higher up there in the ratings. Brandon Jennings having a good year uh, as a very young 21-year-old. I don't know if he had a double nickel game in this save, but, you know, they have the pieces, but they have not been able to put it together. Let's see where they ended in the standings. 
Uh, I mean, they weren't even close. Like, I said they weren't even close. Like, what is that? Three games back? Yeah, they were three games back this year. But, I mean... You know, I mean, like this, this obviously like this is weird, right? Because no one could get injured. Maybe I shouldn't have turned off, you know, thinking back, maybe I should just not left on injuries and just hope they didn't get hurt because maybe this is like skewing the numbers. Uh, Because like, look, like, look at how close everything is, right? Like the Grizzlies won 49 games and have the best record in the league or in the, in this, in the West. Now over here, the Heat won 65 games, so you know, but usually I think you see more teams winning more games than, you know, you don't see a lot of like 60% win teams leading their conferences, right? So it is a bit weird. I'll admit, I mean, it's not the perfect simulation, but at the end of the day, everybody's playing on the same rules, right? So if we go by that, everyone's playing on the same rules. Your boys didn't get hurt, but they're just not any good. So Look, I love Brandon Roy as much as the next guy. I don't I can't say the same about Greg Oden, but look, I tried my best. It just didn't happen. We're gonna see who wins the championship. Um, I'm hoping for my city that we can get the the Grizzlies one. We'll see if it happens. I mean, it's gonna happen in real life this year anyway, so it doesn't even matter. They didn't even beat. They're out. They lost to Denver. Jeez, Louise. Okay, LeBron took one home, brought one back for the land a few years early, and with that, we're gonna end this one. Sorry to you Trailblazers fans. Sorry to Brandon Roy. I apologize to Greg Oden for anything bad I said about you. But uh, you just aren't good enough. All right, see you later.